Hello my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. This is Mary at Mystic Wisdom Tarot. I thank you so much for joining me. I know you have many, many choices out there. And sometimes I'm a little late with videos because if I'm not feeling it, I don't do it. I take this serious. Um, so if you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Thank you for subscribing and liking, sharing. My purpose is to bring Spirit Guides messages to the Divine Collective of Scorpio to help you see things in a new perspective so that you can move forward on your purpose and path towards love, abundance, whatever you need, healing as well. I also transmit healing energy to you as I do my readings. So make it real and hit subscribe. So we did receive the Divine Activator as um, our Keepers of the Light. And I have to say, I, I, I really am keeping him out for all of the January readings because the Divine, I'm sorry, Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose, okay? Divine Intervention is occurring. Um, know that you are being guided happiness is your purpose and i want to i want to put that out in case you want to take a screenshot because um he doesn't come out that often but when he does it gives us sort of a peace of mind that spirit guides have our back and sometimes there is uh, a destiny and a purpose and it really is to be happy you guys we want to be happy and we want to attract the love of our life we want to maybe bring back a twin flame or just to find peace in our heart to move forward and maybe release a little bit. I'm, I'm seeing a dove just releasing. And I know from experience when you let go and find peace, if it's meant to be, they'll come back. And if they don't, you're at peace and you're okay with that and you send them love. A lot of times, also, when you are at peace with a situation, they want to come back and you're in power now and have a better understanding if that this is right for you, this twin flame. So let's see what spirit guides and angels have for the Scorpio Collective for January. I'm going to try to do the first half. So, ooh la la, of course, we have the death card, our card. It's all about Scorpios transforming. We are the ones that can go down and come back up, like the rising of the phoenix from the ashes over and over and over again. It's our karma. And that's okay because we're strong. I'm seeing Superman with that Superman pose or Wonder Woman with that, you know, her hands on her hip and saying, yep, I'm, I'm ready to take it on. I'm ready to take it on and to transform. I'm not going to hide this time. But we all go through the dark night of the soul and we get a little depressed and upset about how things are happening because we're Scorpios and we want to control them. We can't always control them. But... What is happening in this transformative time for you the first half of January is you're going to be getting some very important downloads and messages. So pay attention to yourself. You can watch me, you can watch a million readers. But most of us, our purpose is really to bring spirit messages to you, not to project, oh, will I get married and have babies? And let me tell you, I can sort of predict that. But it's about you creating that reality for you, you taking charge, moving forward with smart intellect, the swords, right? It's your mind. But yet a night is very transformative. So there's something that is transforming and changing and coming very fast to you. And I think it is, and believe it or not, a king of pentacles. To me, this is a person. This is a person that is going to give you a job offer 
a promotion because they recognize you as somebody who has transformed and has stepped forward. Also could be a new romantic partner, but we'll, we'll clarify that in a moment. So spirit guides and angels, tell us more of what's coming forward for my Divine Scorpio Collective for the first half of January. Now remember, on the 10th we have that full moon lunar eclipse in Cancer. So I feel that that is um, a very healing time for you. It's a very nurturing time for you. Um, if you have some mother issues, you may want to forgive and let go so that you can step into your divine feminine we have to have peace and forgiveness you can't have carry any burdens or resentments let those go forgive your parents for they know not what they did they did the best they could and if you look at their lives you'll understand why i guess that was a message for somebody but anyway let's get the cards out thank you for your patience ten of swords and the nine of cups and interesting so with the death card, that's perfect because that is the end. The end of feeling like, oh my God, I'm just down and out and I'm exhausted from it all, from all the karma. It's over. The 10 means it's over. And the beautiful nine of cups is very spiritual, very like oh, a breath of fresh air, possibility, wishes fulfilled something new to say cheers like i did upload a couple of little short videos no commercials or anything i went to sweetwater last night and listened to some blues and my sister invited me and i have to say and it was a lot of musicians i knew but i hadn't seen for quite a while and the vibration and the energy even though it was the blues which are supposed to be you know about love and and hurt and pain it was so healing so go out, celebrate, listen to some music that you love, that you enjoy. I don't care if it's rap. I like some rap. But something that is more uplifting, okay? Something that, you know, like you know, reggae. So healing and the blues, all right? So Nine of Cups, get out and celebrate. You definitely are ending the karma. You're moving into clearer thought about what direction you want to go in and you're it's time to celebrate you and someone is going to recognize you oh tell me about this king of <laughs> scorpio i just asked and it popped right out of the deck two of cups yay i know i know you guys you see these readings like where is my twin flame where is my soulmate well, if you don't get out there, I ran into an old friend from high school that, um, oh my God, I don't even want to tell you the year that we knew each other, but we were just chatting outside during the break. And I'm like, is that your van? It was like a Volkswagen hippie van, but looked nice, probably worth a hundred thousand dollars, you know, and, um, you know, the one with the 12 windows. And I'm like, he says, no, this isn't my van, but you must be psychic because I have one around the corner. I said, well, you know, obviously looking at you, you look like a rich hippie. <laughs> and he's like, are you Mary Murphy? And I'm like, oh my God, I hadn't seen him since 1977. So even if it's the two of cups is running into an old friend, okay? Let's honor that. Let's celebrate that union. Okay. Oh, and he had money too. Well, anyway, here's the King of Pentacles. We're, we're all very connected. You know, we are all one. So when I heal you or send out healing vibration to you, I'm a little selfish. It heals myself. These messages are for you and for me because we're all one. Remember, when you can look in somebody's eyes and know that they love you or have your back, a friend, a lover, whoever, oh, what joy that can bring to your life. But you have to vibrate high to attract that, right? Holy Spirit, how can we bring in these beautiful messages to fruition? How can we bring this? Odin, give us the psychic insight. Divine Director, help us understand how we can bring the magic of the Two of Cups and the King. Look at I found this beautiful card of this young magician with the dragon and the owl. 
and the full moon. This is very Cancerian energy. A lot of magical manifesting is happening, you guys. Let's get on the wagon. Let's get on the bandwagon. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, tell us how we can bring this Two of Cups and King of Pentacles into our lives. And Divine Masculine could be a queen. Change the genders. <laughs> getting out of our head now isn't that interesting that I brought this out at that that moment see the owl on the branch see the owl under the moon under the moon the wisdom is within you get out of your head and into your heart okay because our minds can just go spinning and spinning and spinning so we have the nine of swords here and the ten of swords so how do we get into this beautiful two of cups energy by getting out of our heads not necessarily yes we want to be logical and making right decisions which is the swords but the nine of swords is like worry and doubt it almost feels like the devil energy how spirit guides can we let go of fear and doubt and bring the two of cups into our lives so many of my subscribers are looking for their twin. You are receiving a healing. The first half of January, this 2020, with this, I'm telling you, you guys, January 15th, 13th and 15th are going to bring you a lot of romantic uh, energy. Okay? High hopes. Venus enters Pisces. I, you know, and a lot of that is about siblings and cousins and travel, short distance travel. Okay, bringing you a lot of healing. And that's so interesting because my sister invited me to that event last night and I'm a Scorpio and it was transformative for me. I almost want to cry. Um, it's so lovely to have a, a sibling that loves you unconditionally. Sorry, guys, you know. I don't know if you ever watched any of those movies where people are in church and they're crying and they're singing and uh, this is how spirit guides there's our divine couple if this is your wish you have the power to manifest it you are queen of pentacles stand in your power you will be recognized you will have a balanced Union, two of cups. You guys are solid now. Yeah, we're Scorpio, we're water, we're, you know, very, very passionate and, uh, and, and usually not very grounded. So the message is get grounded. Do some meditation where you're, you know, the roots are of, of your soul are going down into Mother Earth and she's healing you. So we're not floating around all the time in our dreams. We need to get grounded. There's a lot of wonderful meditations and chakra healings out there about grounding yourself. You're, you're focused on your coin. You're focused on yourself, which is very important, and your own healing. And yet we have to compartmentalize things a little bit. Take time out for yourself and then get busy. It's going to be a very busy time for you. Very healing. I haven't seen the star card in a long time. This is really gorgeous energy, you guys. Oh, the messages are coming in quick. Invitations. Messages from people that you haven't heard from in a while. You're going to be receiving a lot of artistic inspiration during this full moon lunar eclipse and a lot of romance a lot of romance could be coming in you know um the fifth house of travel and true love and divine inspiration is i feel coming to you with that star card there beautiful okay any other messages for the scorpio collective Thank you, Spirit Guides. They need to get out and get on with their life. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. You're going to find the balance. Yeah, Pentacles, Pentacles. Get out of your head, down into the <clears throat> working hard, getting, you know, manifesting your abundance as well. And when you do that and you can find peace with the abundance that you have and know that the universe supports you, 
sometimes I feel like the chariot card, if that came out right now, I'd be blown my mind because I'm seeing that, yes, we need to make a choice and move forward, but understand that choice, <laughs> that when we make that decision, that somebody has our back. The divine director, the universe, your spirit guides, make the choice. Okay, because readings are here to help us go move forward, not to have us be stuck and look at, you know, readings all day long. I get it. We want to know what is the answer? What's going to happen? How's it going to happen? Life is a mystery. And we're only, the readers are only here to just help you to unlock the key to your own heart and your own passions. The star. What are your own passions? Look at the talents and abilities that you have. I feel like you may be making a decision to do some new work. Yeah, there it is. The Ace of Wands came out too, flipped over. New work, new beginning, new passion, new love. I feel like we need everything new, right? Because we've been burdened. Ten of Wands reversed down here. And, and not that the Ten of Wands is burdens that are, you know, that we couldn't handle. We can handle them, you guys. We can handle them. We're Scorpios. Give us a task and we'll get it done. Holy Spirit, any other messages for my divine Scorpios? And then we're going to grab a Romance Angel card and a Lover's card. Um, and I'm seeing the mermaids. They want to come out too. So let's do that right now. Since we did get the beautiful Two of Cups, the Star... The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful start of the month. But you know what? You have free will. What do you want to manifest? Write out your affirmations for 2020. Very transformative time. We're coming into the age of Aquarius. The Divine Feminine are rising up. So I ask Archangel Shemuel, what is the Spirit Angel's uh, messages for Scorpio? For January 2020. Holy Spirit, what is the Romance Angel card? Shemuel. <laughs> what is the Romance Angel card for Scorpio? I'm going to be one of those readers and pull it off the top. Make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Just like I was guided to take this card. Make the effort. Okay, guys, let me get that lovers. Oh, that one fell right out. Soulmate, woohoo! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Oh, take a screenshot of that for an affirmation, kids. I love you so much, you guys. I really do. I send you lots of healing love. If you want a private reading about you and your love life, just email me, mysticwisdomtarot at gmail. That information is in the link below or about me. I definitely want to honor the mermaids and get us one more message from the mermaid oracles. Oh, receptivity. Yes, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to give. We're, we're so giving as Scorpios. So if you cross watchers are watching, you know that. We love deeply and hard, passionately. Your soulmate is co coming. Be open to receiving it. Imagine that they are already with you. Okay? I'm going to read that one more time. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. <gasps> Lovely. I want to be able to get a screenshot of that. All right, guys. I'm sending you all my love. Thank you for spending your time with me. It really means everything to me. I send you lots of healing, love, and light that your heart will be open to receive. Namaste.